उसके बाद यू गिव एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ गैस एंड लिक्विड इन इक्विलिब्रियम something more ha you had asked you had uh, talked about layer shard layers principle yeah okay we are doing that only right lee shard layer lee shard layer okay. means lee shard layer means lee shard layer means that uh, it explained how an increase in the temperature pressure and quantity would affect the equilibrium of an equation or reaction yeah so uh, shall we do some questions on lee shatler principle okay okay sure okay uh so see basically what we see that uh when a catalyst is added to a reversible reaction in equilibrium yes. what will be the equilibrium constant a catalyst is added to a when a when a catalyst is added to a reversible reaction now that reversible reaction is in equilibrium yes state the value of the equilibrium constant first increases second decreases c does not change and fourth is becomes zero or uh, teacher i think the i think the option will it won't be c it does not change because the equilibrium will obviously change it uh won't become zero so very good very good correct answer is does not change good very good very good now i'm sharing another question with the Ma'am, okay. 
because okay. uh, writing this okay. it wastes time so we'll do four five questions and after that i will teach you to hsc okay so that our topic is complete because okay, you asked sure. for sure. questions and so do it fast yes yes Yeah, sorry, what the questions? No, I'll solve it now and so and send the answers. Yeah. Oh. You will do it now? Yeah, I am doing it. Now. Ah, okay. You tell me the answers now, here only, okay? Okay, okay. Mm. Amishi, could you kindly go to room number one? 
Yeah, sir. Can I say the answers? Yes, yes. Tell me the answer. Uh, so the answer for the fourth question is C increases. Answer for the seventh question is A thirty. And uh, answer for the seventh question. No, no, seventh is A. C the equilibrium ah, sorry, constant of 30, the right. 300. 30, right? 300. 300. Ah, 300. 300. Very good. And uh, 10th is can raise to uh, K raise to 10 uh, square. Very good. Neil, you have really worked very nicely. Fantastic. Very Thank good. You, now it's complete, beta. Yeah, yeah, it's complete. It's complete. Now, chalo, we'll continue with solutions here. Yeah. Okay. 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 Shall we? Or teacher, could we do HSC? Because I am going to HSC ka lecture, right? Or are you saving Haan, that for later? So, solutions are going to be HSC. Okay. Okay, teacher. Ah. Okay. What is the problem? What is the problem? Okay, okay, okay. Then we'll start with the HSC for solution. Huh. So solutions may how much we have done? Right. Just let me check how much. I also don't huh. remember that. Mm -hmm. No, I can't find the page right now. I think, uh, oh. I think it was isotopes and all. Maybe. No, no, isotope is not there in solution. We were doing solutions uh, only, no? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, we were doing solutions only, right? Huh. So, till which topic we did? Because you've got to tell me. We did types of solutions, I think. Saturated and super saturated solutions, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had done that. We had done that. And then I taught you like dissolves like. Yes. No, I don't I don't think you taught that. Okay, uh, fine. Chalo. Okay. So today we will start with, please keep the paper and okay. factors affecting yeah. solubility. See, solubility actually depends on the on the nature of solute and solvent. Then temperature and pressure. Okay. So first is Nature of solute and solvent. That is mm, like dissolves like. Okay. So first is Polar solutes, they dissolve in polar solutes. 
solar solvents like you can say nacl which is present in water okay one second one second ha ah, ha no problem right Yes, teacher. Done. Okay. So what we see is the you know uh, non-polar organic solvents. Polar means what? Which is which has got affinity for water. Okay. Next is non-polar organic compounds dissolves in non-polar solvents. That is, you can say, cholesterol in benzene. Hmm? The substances having similar intermolecular forces are likely to be soluble. In each other. Hmm. Yes, are done. So what we see that uh, any of it, uh, the non-polar solvents, okay, they, the non-polar organic compounds, they dissolve in non-polar solvents, like you can say petrol, diesel, okay. So the substance is having similar intermolecular forces. Only they are likely to be soluble in each other. So, intermolecular forces of the two substances, they should be similar. Okay. Now, write down next. Effect of temperature on solubility. Okay. Okay. So, can you tell me what is the effect of temperature on solubility? 
Um, basically, uh, some react some reactions are endothermic. That's that is they need heat to react with each other and to uh, become soluble with each other. For example, when we when we make a cake, we have to heat it in order to allow the dough and all of the other ingredients to properly mix together. Huh. Okay. So therefore, there are two type of processes which we see. The first is in endothermic process. Yes, what we see in endothermic process. We see in endothermic process that the heat is added to the reactants in order to form the product. Yes, the heat is added. So what we are seeing is when temperature is increased, the solubility of the substance decreases with increase in temperature like calcium chloride in water. Yes, can you tell me something on this? Calcium chloride in water we Hmm? No, teacher, I'm not yet in it. Like, with the basically, example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, when we see that there is the rise in temperature, okay, in endothermic, endothermic process means what? In the endothermic process, there is actually absorption of heat. Okay, so when the heat is oh. absorbed, the solubility of the substance increases. Okay. Okay. So, uh, endothermic reaction is this. See, in place of CaCl2, you can do one thing. You can write down KCl. Because this we can use in the exothermic process. Getting? Yes, getting. Mm. Now, next we will see that in the case of exothermic process. The solubility decreases. Solubility becomes less. Why solubility will become less? Uh, yes, solubility will become less. Yes. Why? Because the heat is being given off when the products are being formed. The product or products. Yes. See, basically we see that when the process is taking place, the in exothermic solubility becomes less. Solubility becomes less. How? With increase in temperature. Like in this, you can write down calcium chloride in water.
Got it? Yes. Next. Yes, got it. Solubility of gases decrease with increase in temperature. Written. See, what we see is that actually there is no direct correlation. You can write down this note that there is no direct correlation between solubility and exothermicity and endothermicity. Okay, so whether it is exothermic or whether it is endothermic, there is not that much correlation between the two. Okay. Okay. Now, next is. One second, one second. Uh -huh, I'm writing below only. Okay. Effects of pressure on solubility. So, first we see that pressure has. No effect on solubilities of solids and liquids. Why? Why they do not have? Yes, teacher, done. Tell me why. Tell me why pressure has no effect on solubilities of solid and liquid. Because solids and liquids cannot be compressed, only gases can be compressed, right? Very good. So write down. Complete it. As they are incompressible. Very good, Neil. Very good. The solubilities of gases increases with increasing pressure. Now the quantitative
the quantitative relationship is given by Henry's law. So what is Henry's law? What is Henry's law? Uh, Write down. It states that the solubility of a gas in a liquid is directly proportional to the pressure of gas over the solution. Okay. So we will write KH is equal to S upon P. That is equal to mole per liter divided by bar. That is equal to mole per liter per bar. So, S is what? S is the solubility of gas in mole per liter. P is what? Pressure of the gas in bar. over the solution okay when the pressure is applied over the solution and what is kh that is proportionality constant and this proportionality constant is called as the henry's law Now, I'll be sharing you some questions on Henry's law. Okay, numericals. You're going to repeat that? I'm sharing you some numericals on Henry's law. Okay. 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 Just, just to... You write down these questions also, okay? Because you will be using this next year. Okay, just one second. Just one second. I'm on the P is equal to pressure point. Uh -huh. I'm sharing to ma'am right now. She'll share it to you. Okay. Okay.
ಎರಡು ಸರಿ ಹೊಡೆದು ಫೋಟೋ ಯಾ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡು ಇಟ್ ಐ ಹಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಯು 3 ನ್ಯೂಮೆರಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡು ಇಟ್ ಓ can you do yeah teacher i'm solving the first one i'll be right very good don't use calculator right do it try to do it on your own 
because yeah. we don't yeah don't use calculators yeah no i'm not using calculator Not done yet. Sir, I'm on the last step of the second one. Fine, fine. Okay, okay, great. I finished the first one. Option is uh, D, 5.55, that one. Wow. Fantastic. Kya baat hai, Neil? I am quite amazed. Very good. I'm uh, on the second one right now. Okay, fine. Finish and sometime until the answer. Then I'm... Okay, okay, fine.
Yes, Neil. Answer. Yeah, it is almost done. Almost done. Okay. Second one or third one? Uh, second one among the last statement. Third is second one is done. 
Yes, tell me. Uh, Seven point one six times ten raised to minus four moles. Ah, uh, fine. You, uh, yeah. So n will be is equal to you will say uh, zero uh, zero point seven into ten raised to minus three, or you can say point zero point seven millimoles. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, awesome. And next is. Uh, next I'm solving right now. Okay. This was pretty tough. It was tough. Yes. It was tough as well. It took some time. So have you Googled it or have you done it on your own? No, 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 no. I've done it on my own. I've done it on my own. Oh, fantastic. That is very good. So with me, if you work hard, it's fantastic. Good. Yes. Shushma, ma'am. Hello. Hello, Neil. Yes, teacher. You have done? Oh, no, last statement. Last statement. Okay, fine. Fine. Hmm. 
हेलो हेलो नील आई फील सम अदर स्टूडेंट इज हैविंग क्लास कैन यू फिनिश द या कैन यू फिनिश द आंसर एंड सेंड इट टू मैम ओके ओके श्योर ओके ओके बाय बाय थैंक यू टीचर बाय